Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to make a fuel system of this 1200cc V8 buggy. And I'm proud to show what I did because it actually works really good. So stay tuned. So what we'll do is I'll show first the engine runs and then I can show you everything I did, why I did something and things you don't want to do because making a fuel system can be a bit of a pain. So let me show you. I think this is the very, very correct way to do it and I'm happy to show you. So first start the engine. And to show you it actually works, I will take off these pieces of bodywork. With all the bodywork removed, we can show the engine is running because, of course, I need to prove it. And you know, it's nice to start the engine because it's just good fun. So, because I don't have a throttle or a tow cable yet, I just sit like this so it stays open. And I use the screwdriver to, to yeah, to push the throttle and give it some revs. Yeah, baby! A few moments later So as you all have seen it runs and it runs quite good Of course it is very very noisy without an exhaust system but We'll make it in a later video but now it's time to show you what i actually did with the fuel system and let's start over there with the fuel cell there as you can see right there this fuel cell came with the frame when i bought it so i knew this was the correct fuel cell and i don't know if what i did is like rule book correct but it works for now and i think it's very quite safe so as you can see over here i drilled like these two holes in the seat in the back of the seat and it's very easy to see over here these and that one hold the tank in place the fuel cell in place and then i made like this aluminium bracket this is two millimeters thick and bolted it to the frame just to clamp it to the back of the seat so it doesn't move like this i made this fuel filler neck which is not correctly fully built yet because i just need a of this aluminium tubing and of this like silicon hose to connect it to here i have a breather hole this is one it's just currently closed but that will normally be open i did all the wiring of course because you need that and what i did is i just screwed like the voltage regulator and the ecu to the frame I made like a bracket for this one i don't know if you can see it properly but it unbolted now but the ECU will go like nowhere. So now we can move on to the actual fuel system. And I think it might be the easiest way to do it with like a scheme. So, so there you go, white piece of paper. And we can schematically make our fuel system on there. So we have our fuel cell, fuel filter, fuel pump, and of course the engine. And I know this engine is way too new, but who cares? So what I actually did is I connected the fuel cell to the fuel filter then the fuel pump and you always want the fuel filter in front of the fuel pump so it like cleans the fuel and don't get any mess in your fill uh, in your pump and then the fuel pump goes to the engine with the carburetors and so i think this is the easiest way and the easiest way to mirror it for the other engine and it looks the exact same on here as it does in real life so as you can see really quickly you have the fuel cell down there is the filter and the fuel pump and from the fuel pump it goes all the way to the engine so let's talk about a bit more about the overflow because that is as important as the fuel line to the engine if you don't use all the fuel that is distributed by the fuel pump you have these small hoses which are below the carburetors and you have one on these two carburetors for these two cylinders and on the other side as well and they just connect it with like a T connection, goes down underneath the engine. 
and back to the fuel cell. And later on, I will get another one of these and put them in between here. So the other engine will use the same overflow as this engine. So now you've seen how I did this, I can tell you what you don't want to do and what doesn't work because there are a few things that I tried and it didn't work. Hmm, why doesn't this engine start? Stupid! So as you can see, I mounted with a zip tie, but that doesn't matter for now, the fuel pump at the lowest point and I'm thinking about hard mount kit to the floor of the buggy once I install that. But it's absolutely very, very important to mount this as low as possible because now the fuel can just flow in through the filter through the actual pump already. At first I'd mount this on here, on this like bracket thing. And then it has to pump the fuel all the way down, like there was a hose underneath the engine onto there because it's way higher. It's not what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to push it and not pull the fuel through the pump. So when you keep it very low, it flows in and you just, just have to push it up to the carburetors. So that was really a really important step and something else I came along is you have this fuel pump relay and as you can see it has three wires going to it and that wire comes from the and that safety wire actually comes from the coil so if you if you have any spark the fuel pump won't turn on. So you have to make sure you connect absolutely everything the correct and the absolute right way because otherwise everything impacts each other so then it won't work as it should. And then I think I have covered everything. So yeah, fuel system, electrical systems, and what you don't want to do. And of course, what you do want to do to make this a successful running engine. So this actually is a bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to show you what I did and how I did it. And why, of course, I wanted to show you why I did something. Um, yeah, I see you in the next video, I suppose. I hope so. Click subscribe. You, I see you click subscribe like this video comment if you have ever uh, a problem with a fuel system or what your experiences are of course don't hesitate telling me what i did wrong or what could i do better for my own safety because like i'm just a beginner i know like the basic stuff but not everything and of course i don't want to blow myself up with this thing so like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video.